during a golden age of hip hop, a lot of people were influenced by the 5% during that time. But not everybody actually took on the culture in a very formal way when it comes to being responsible and accountable for the principles and values that we live according to. In the urban community, you know, the Latino and the West Indian has the greatest influence and we've always had and we'll always will and it's just been that way. So I've actually been influenced by the Latino community, which allows me to feel that much more comfortable putting my West Indian influence in my music because they made me feel that much more proud to be like, yeah, my knees, I jump me a kind and I say it. But I'm just saying, a lot of the times, it ain't until you're made to feel comfortable giving it to the people who are what you really are, what your influences are, what you're bringing in the house that you do it. So, you know, being that I've been made to feel comfortable doing it, I think I also got to acknowledge and credit the Latinos for their influence on me. I heard you converted to Islam? I've been Islam. Okay. I've been Islam since I was 12, 13 years old. Because I was introduced to the 5% nation of Islam when I was 12 or 13 years old. That. You know what I'm saying? And it's been that ever since. They talk about chilling in a b-boy stance and all of this, chilling like this. I'm a b-boy, standing in my b-boy stance. A b-boy stance is actually the god, comes from the gods, standing in the truth of square. Okay, well, let me just demonstrate for you real quick. A truth of square is when you just stand there with your feet at a 45 degree angle. Goes hand in hand and and you standing right over left. I want to start off by saying peace to Allah and justice. You see, because they're going to straighten all this out. Here's how I know. You see, each and every day, each and every day. Well, they were saying that we was less than three-fifths of a man. The 5% nation of Islam is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a division of the nation of Islam that was created by the father Clarence 13X. The gods would be at the black parties standing in a truth of square and then the 85s would see this and just think it's a cool way to stand. On our very person, our body parts, we was talking about we were supreme beings. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. A L L A H. Allah. The five percent is the the rich poor, is the is the poor righteous teachers of the planet, and eighty five percent is. The mystery God believers and the slave to the mental death and power and the ones easily led in the wrong direction and hard to be led in the right. And the 10% is the rich blood suckers of the poor. So those are like the ones that pretty much run things in government. Basically we're poor righteous teachers and we strive to civilize people that don't have no knowledge of themselves. If a person is living a life of wickedness or doing evil, it's our duty to civilize people as five percenters to strive to educate them to put them on the proper path. Yeah, 2122 7th Avenue, the home of the Nation of Gods and Earths, the law school in Mecca. And uh, this, is where, this is where it happened, this is where it started. Who is the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, the father of civilization and God of the universe. Uh, Kip was really tough. His name uh, turned to Roshan because he was a five percenter. Make up your own freezes. You got names. You call them. You got names for them. Like what? Like the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. When you hear people saying peace in hip hop, that's started from the gods. Word up, uh, drop that sign, so blow the spot up, you know, uh, 
As we say, I, I, he dropped the bomb on him. We was dropping bombs. We was out here telling people, oh, he dropped the bomb on him. You heard that guy? Brooklyn, as we call Medina, was heavily influenced back in the 60s. We have respect for the woman. When you look at our universal flag, which is the sun, moon, and stars, the sun that encircles the moon and the star represents the man. And the man is no different than a protective hedge that is around his family as well as a protective hedge around his community. So the sun, moon, and star is symbolic to the man, woman, and child. The seven in the center represents God or perfection, which means that godliness or divinity should be central to your family unit because that family unit is seminal to the unit of the community as well as the people and the overall human family. So that is right in our flag. If there is no healthy sense of respect for our women, then there is obviously no healthy sense of respect for the child. The U.S. ain't got no culture. We are people with culture. I'm going to tell you that. We are people with knowledge, wisdom, understanding culture. We got the power to build over the planet Earth because we are the youth. We got the equality because we deal equal with our power. We got God secret. We got God in our mind. We build with God knowledge because we got God in our mind. Now there's a system of checks and balances that comes into play and a person is held accountable for what they say out of their mouth because they claim to be a representative or an ambassador of a culture. But if you're if it's within your nature to be godly and you act the devil, you're the worst kind of devil. Because now you can be held accountable because you understand what your nature is. And anything that you know one is aware of and you do and choose to do other than what you know you should be doing, you know you should definitely be held accountable fully, 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 fully. And that's right, when you wake up in the morning, you better say peace to a law and a law and justice. And I just got a call from someone that said, uh, I present, I present Exhibit C. Exhibit. Shooting dice, smoking weed on the corners. Trying to find the meaning of life in the corona. Till the five percenters rolled up on the nigga and informed them. Hey, you either build or destroy where you come from. Question 14, Muslim lesson two. Dip diver. Civilizer 85 -er. I make the devil hit his knees and say to our father, Abracadabra. This is the world famous Supreme Team Show. My name is Justin Lotta Superstar, here with my main man. And y'all know who I am. My name is CD Bond the Mastermind. And that's right, you get up right now and wake up everybody you know. You know. You know. You know. And this is new. So get the tape My on. My father told me, me that in reality, team, you must be free. The world, the whole damn world. What are we going to do? The world, the whole damn world. 